You have to be nervous. You have to be scared. I mean, right? Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For the longest time, Justin Bieber has been Ellen's partner in crime of sorts. They have a very close relationship, despite the massive age difference, which could be the reason why not many people understand the way they just openly throw jabs at each other without anyone taking offense. But this beautiful, if rather unlikely, friendship between Bieber and Ellen is not without its challenges. Ellen's candidness towards Justin has, in many instances, caused an uproar among his loyal believers. Let's take a look at some instances that really made Justin's fans wonder why he keeps on showing up at Ellen's show just to subject himself to embarrassment. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. First, the nude vacationist photo incident. Back in 2015, Justin was spotted by paparazzi while vacationing in Bora Bora. The eagle-eyed sniper-like photographer was able to snap a picture of Justin letting it all hang out, literally. This rather compromising photo went viral, showing just how little regard people give for the privacy of celebrities. Ellen should be the first person to understand this, but instead of sympathizing with Justin and calling out whichever paparazzi took the obviously private picture, Ellen got herself a copy of it and projected it onto the large screen in her talk show set for everyone to lay eyes on. She then proceeded to put Justin on the hot seat, firing questions about the supposedly private vacation the singer took. Even when Bieber practically begged her to take this photo off the screen, Ellen pretended not to hear and proceeded with the burning hot questions. She made Justin feel self-conscious about hanging out naked, even though he had every right to if he rented that villa for himself. Not only that, Ellen also invited more intrigue when she asked who the singer was vacationing with him at the time the photo was taken. Take note that in the paparazzi shot taken, a woman can be seen lounging on a bed in the background of Bieber's revealing photo. Of course, Ellen pointed this out in the show and flat out asked Justin if she was his girlfriend. Justin denied this, saying she was just a friend, but Ellen just wouldn't take the hint. She asked, you just brought a friend to Bora Bora? And you're just naked with your friend? To which Bieber simply replied, why are you putting me on the spot like this? Anyone with a working mind could detect Justin's panic and anxiety at this point, but DeGeneres still wanted to play legit journalist. She then said, I have friends. I've never seen them naked like that. In the end, Justin simply covered his face with his hands and said, stop, you're making me blush, dude. It's very easy to see why Justin's fans would be unhappy with Ellen after this incident. Next up, the yummy incident. Despite the major backlash she got from getting all up in Bieber's business like that in 2015, Ellen didn't seem to learn her lesson because she did it again in 2020. This time, the talk show host did not have any incriminating photos to shame Bieber with, so she contented herself with using Justin's own hit song against him. Out of nowhere, Ellen brought up the topic of yummy while they were still talking about Justin's married life with Haley Baldwin. Without even thinking of a good enough segue, Ellen just out and asked, so here's what I want to ask, yummy, what does that mean exactly? She laced the question with more malice by adding, I mean, I think I know, but what were you thinking of when you wrote that yummy yummy? The question obviously caught Justin off guard so he took quite a long pause before finally answering. He all but confirmed that the song is about what goes on in his bedroom. DeGeneres commented back saying, that's what I thought it was because there's something about toes curling and stuff. If you really think about it, isn't it kind of weird for someone of Ellen's age to be asking someone several decades her junior about this stuff? Imagine if the roles were reversed and it was an older man asking a younger female artist about the innuendos in her song. Everyone would be flipping out. Instead, it's it seemed like Justin was the only one realizing how awkward the entire situation was. He even took a large gulp of water to show his discomfort. In an effort to keep the situation light, he then turned to the audience to ask, is it getting hot in here? Naturally, Bieber's fans got defensive and criticized Dellen for being insensitive to how anxious Justin must have felt at that moment. Next is the burning questions incident. It really does seem that Ellen might have an obsession over Justin's body, although we're pretty sure she's only asking all these suggestive questions because they get answers that fans actually want to hear. Still, actual fans do not like seeing their idols being objectified. So Justin Bieber's fans again raised heck when Ellen guested Justin on her burning question segment and once again asked him a couple of suggestive questions. For one, she asked Justin Bieber what his 
favorite part of his own body is. When Bieber said it's gotta be his butt, Ellen took it as an opportunity to be inappropriate again, commenting that Justin indeed has a very nice butt. Another one of the questions was not really a question. It was more of an order for Justin to say something sexy in his Canadian accent. A lot of people might think it's a stretch to think Ellen had any intention to actually objectify Justin. But again, think long and hard how it would look if it had been a male talk show host asking a female guest to say something sexy in an accent or to name the sexiest part of her body in her opinion. It's really not looking too great for Ellen out there. The worst part is that she never seems to know when to back down. Another example would be when she basically pressured Justin and Haley to start making babies. Again, it's kind of hard not to stress how inappropriate some of Ellen's comments are sometimes. During the same burning question segment, she asked Justin Bieber how many children he'd like to have. Justin quickly answered splendidly, saying it was 100% Haley's decision because it's her body anyway. Well, Ellen should have taken note of that answer. Instead, when Justin Bieber went in for another guesting later in the year, Ellen once again asked, how many kids are you going to have and when? Staying true to his word, he said he's leaving that decision all up to his wife. Justin said, I'm going to have as many as Haley is wishing to push out. I'd love to have myself a little tribe, but yeah, it's her body and whatever she wants to do. That should have been the end of the conversation. But Ellen again decided to overstep her boundaries to ask, you know you love kids. You're so good with kids. What What's the holdup? It's a good thing Justin was able to respond to such a passive aggressive question. The singer hopefully for the last time reminded the talk show host that they shouldn't even be talking about the topic without Haley, the one person whose opinion in the matter actually counts. Justin said, there's not really an issue, but I think Haley still has some things she wants to accomplish as a woman. And I think she just wants to, yeah, I think she is just not ready. And I think that's okay. Dang right it's okay. And Ellen should remember it this time, cause Justin's fans are are not very happy and they might just fly into a rage if they so much as hear Ellen peep one more thing about Justin Bieber having kids. But you know who else is getting way too pissed at Ellen right now? Haley fans, of course. Aside from Ellen constantly undermining Haley in all her obsessive baby talk, she even questions Haley's abilities in the kitchen. All of us are familiar with the Haley's Thanksgiving IG post, right? The one where she posed beside a perfectly cooked turkey, which is not burnt, by the way, while looking like a total snack herself. Justin even bragged to Ellen how great it was that his wife Haley cooked a majority of the meal, including the turkey. The talk show host didn't seem to buy it though. Particularly, Ellen thought it was incredulous that Haley could have cooked while looking absolutely dolled up. Even as Ellen herself realized that Haley could have simply taken a bath and gotten on her Thanksgiving outfit after cooking the magnificent turkey, she all but implied that Haley could not have cooked such an amazing Thanksgiving meal simply because she is too pretty to do so. All Justin could do was agree that his wife probably did cook in a different outfit. Ellen kept on badgering though, as if hoping Justin Bieber would eventually reveal that it was their chef, not Haley, who worked on the turkey. Ever his wife's most faithful companion in life, Bieber said, no, Haley actually did cook that. So now both fans of Justin and Haley think Ellen is a mean person who is not as nice as she makes herself out to be. This was especially true when Ellen subjected Justin to one of her textbook pranks. One cardinal rule in the prank wars is that you don't turn on your teammate to prank them. But that's exactly what Ellen did when she had Bieber on the set. A random guy popped out from her side table slash jack-in-the-box installation and Justin's heart almost leapt out from his chest. Bieber called Ellen out for the jump scare, saying there's no use pranking her co-prankster. You see, Bieber is the usual accomplice of Ellen when she plays pranks on people. So Justin Bieber could not have predicted that Ellen would give him a dose of their own medicine. Naturally, Justin and protested saying she really should not have made their prank wars personal. Again, Ellen didn't seem to be bothered by the criticism. With that, you now know all the main reasons why Justin Bieber's fans have not exactly warmed up to Ellen. Hopefully she gets to watch this video and realize that her relationship to Bieber requires a couple of recalls and a different party.